Hello, uh, this is Dr. Rosalie Rosales. I want to discuss to you about chi-square test of independence. So, usually, ito ginagamit ko to para ma-determine yung significant relationship between the profile of each and every respondents I had and to the, uh, yung relationship ng profile nila to the problem or yung kung ano yung hinahanap kung degree of the responses na ang pinag-measure ko naman doon is the mean square, I mean uh, the Likert scale, okay? So, here, I want to discuss to you first what is chi-square test of independence, okay? So, the chi-square test of independence is usually used to determine if there is a significant relationship between two nominal categ or categorical variables and it is applied when you have two categorical variables from a single population. Single population lang siya. Okay? So, pag sinabing single population, hindi siya, hindi siya by, by group. Okay? So, usually, itong chi-square test na to, ginagamit ito if ang inyong ginamit na sampling is a simple random sampling. It is used to determine whether there is a significant association of the two uh, variables. Like, for example, nga, yung yung age nila to their awareness or yung kanilang profile to their to the factors influencing them in eating at a foreign team restaurant since yun yung naging example natin from uh, the previous videos I had which is the frequency and the average weighted mean. Okay, so when do we use the chi-square of independence? Okay, so chi-square test of independence is used when we try to find out the relationship between two variables nga. Okay, the chi-chi test of independence is trying to find out uh, yung relationship between two variables. And, um, ma'am, bakit po chi-square instead of ANOVA or Pearson correlation coefficient? So, sa akin kasi ito, uh, maganda siya to test uh, between two variables, the nominal and the categorical. So, yung categorical na part ko is yun yung sa mean. Well, yung nominal part ko naman is yun yung sa frequency. Magkaiba kasi yung formula nila. Sa ANOVA kasi, pag ANOVA or one-way ANOVA, it is about comparing two means. Dun naman sa Pearson, ganun din siya. Okay? So, how how do we use the chi test of independence naman. So, looking at the formula, meron tayo dyang summation of the observed minus the the expected tapos square divided by the expected. So, the calculation of this test is, uh, is similar to the test of goodness of fit and the test of homogeneity. So, yan yung formula niya. So, I have here an example para mas maintindihan natin kung paano gamitin ang chi-square test of independence. Okay? So, I gathered it from the book of Blue, uh, Bruto, at Antonio S. Bruto, from his inferential statistics covering a non, uh, parametric and non-parametric. Itong chi-square is a non-parametric test. Okay? So, based from the example, may kita natin that 90 individuals, male and female, give a test of psychomotor. So, ito yung kanilang record. So, using the test of independence at 0 0.05 of a level of significance. We have actually two na common na ginagamit nila, the 0 0.01 level of significance and 0 .0, 0, uh, 0 0.05. So, ibig sabihin yan, itong 0 0.05 na to, ibig sabihin 95% of your hypothesis or your statement are true and 5% lang ang mali. Ganon din sa point zero one na ang significance nung sinasabi ninyo is 99% and only 1% chance na mali. Yun yung ibig sabihin yan. Okay? So, solving it by the step method. So, number one, ano bang kailangan nating alamin? Siyempre, hanapin muna natin what is the problem. Usually, itong, itong significant uh, relationship between something is makikita natin si scope and delimitation. So, based from the problem given, uh, ito, ito, example na to, the problem identified is, is there a significant relationship between 
sex and scores and psycho uh, meter skill. So, magkaiba yung variable. Sex is the nominal and this is one is the categorical. Okay? So, I formulated here two hypotheses. Okay? So, from the two hypotheses, meron tayong the null, which is the negative, there is no, and the hypothesis mismo na ano, na in a positive form. Okay? So, solving it, ang ating uh, level of significance, which represents by a, by a uh, symbol of a, 0.05. Kailangan malaman din natin yung degree of freedom. So, for you to determine the degree of freedom, uh, count the number of columns, minus 1, given yung 1. Count the number of row, minus 1, given din siya. So, limbawa, dito sa sample natin, we have 2 2 column and 2 2 row. Okay, the high and the low and the male and the female. Okay, so we have 2 minus 1, 2 minus 1, 1 is equals to 1 ang degree of freedom. And based from the book, mayroon tayong libro or makikita nyo rin siya sa internet, may mga chai distribution table doon. That 1 corresponds to 3.841 tabular value at uh, 0 0.05 significance or child distribution significance to siya. Okay, ito sa, galing to sa libro. Uh, makukuha nyo rin siya sa internet. So, the statistical formula that we're going to test here is the test of independence. So, I have here, isang hirap mag-encode, the summary of uh, the computations for the given the given example. Okay? So, ito yung computations niya. Kung maalala nyo kanina, di ba ito? 18, 32, 50, ganyan. Okay, so, paano, uh, paano i-co-compute ito? How did we arrive at 2.56? Ito siya. Okay, 50 is observed multiplied by 46 dito. Ito anak, ito. Yung 46 sa total, which is the expected. Divided by 90, the overall total. So, lalabas yan. Ganon din dito. So, 32 naman. So, 32 naman. 50 times 44. Bakit 44? Kasi yung 32 na yan, nakatapat siya sa 34. Okay? Divided by 90. So, lalabas din yan. Ganon din dito sa low na part. 28 is, hindi natin kukunin to kasi ito is just a basis for us. So, 28, so ito yun, 40 times 46 divided by 90. 12, ang 12 is nakatapat sa 44. So, okay, 40 times 44 divided by 90. So, ito yun. Okay? So, let's now proceed using the formula. So, 18, ito yun, observe, minus the expected uh, frequency, ito siya. Squared nyo siya, divided by 25.56 yung E. Ito yun yung formula natin. Plus, 32 minus 24.44 yung computed uh, row, row and column total natin. Divided by 24. So, ganyan siya. So, ito, pag nagawa nyo na, dire-diretso lang siya. Ha? 18 minus 25.56 squared. Diba? Mas maganda if you're going to use the scientific calculator. Para lalabas siya ng tamang tama lang. Okay? So, ito yung mga result nila. So, ang chi-square natin or chi-square natin of independence is 10.92. So, going back doon sa ating uh, tabular, ito yung computed value na tinatawag. Okay? Going back to the tabular kanina. Mataas ba siya o hindi? Okay, so, yung na-compute natin is mataas kesa dun sa tabular. Tandaan nyo guys, the decision rule, if the computed value is greater than the uh, tabular value, i-reject or disconfirm the null hypothesis. Okay, pwede rin pag ang ginamit nyo yung mismong hindi null hypothesis, i-reject nyo siya. Hindi ibig sabihin na rejected yung study nyo. I-reject nyo lang yung statement ninyo na walang relationship. So, pag halimbawa doon sa statement ninyo, sabi nyo, uh, ginamit nyo sa the null form na there is no relationship between the sex and their psychomotor skills. But, the result shows that there is kasi mataas. Mataas siya. Kesa dun sa tabular value. So, ibig sabihin, there is. 
hindi siya there is no. There is a significant relationship. So, ibig sabihin, may, may relationship yung kanilang sex or gender to their skills or psychomotor skills. Kasi, umpisa pa lang, sinabi mo kasi that there is no. Kung alimbawa, null ang hip, napili natin. Sa so, number one. So, pag number one napili ninyo, the null hypothesis, then, the, eh, ganito ang result. Ibig sabihin, lumampas siya sa tabular value which is 10.92 uh, 292.92 Meaning to say, reject yung statement mo na there is no. So, sa makatuwid, there is a relationship. So, hindi siya re hindi rejected yung study mo ha. Yung statement lang na negative. So, ganun lang siya kasimple. Yung chi distribution. So, applicable din siya sa um, comparing the profile to their skills. Halimbawa, dito na part. Dito. Ang inyong observe, bilangin ninyo kung ano yung mga responses nila. I have here an example, na iyaano ko lang sa inyo later, yung sa mean naman, para at least ma-apply ninyo sa study. Yan. Okay. So, ito naman is just an example of, um, pangalan nito, yung chi-square or chi-square as to type of ito, as to occupation. Okay, so dito, ang statement ko dito is there is no significant relationship between their occupation and the psychosocial skills of nurses. Kasi nurses ito. Okay, so itong 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 na linya Yan yung mga occupation occupations nila. Occupation 1, occupation 2, occupation 3, occupation 4, occupation 5. And, lahat sila, ah, sorry. Mali pala, okay, sorry. So, lahat sila pala, under occupation, sumagot sila as to 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Skills pala to. Okay, so, kasi inopen ko lang siya. Sorry for the information a while ago. So, this is their responses as to 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So, ito yung kanilang uh, responses. So, yung mga respondents ko na 63, 19 of them, parang ganon, 19 of them, sumagot na 4, ay 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So, scaling ito. So, mas maganda if tatabulate kayo ng study ninyo is nakahiwalay yung per uh, per profile nila para hindi kayo mahirapan dito sa sa chi-square or the chi-square of independence. Okay? So, ito yung mga responses nila. So, 19 ang responses niya. Gaya kanina, ang sabi natin is hindi natin kukunin ito para makuha natin yung total nila. Yung expected. Kasi dalawa yan. Okay? So, dito kasi finormulate uh, may formula na ako dyan na nilagay. Okay? Ito, observe. Ito yung mga observe natin. Yung mga responses nila. So, out of the respondents I had, 19 of them sumagot ng 5. Ganon. Okay? So, here, here, uh, 19, ano yun? Yung sa formula natin kanina? Yan. Okay. So, 50 times 46, ganon. So, ganon din siya dito. Sa chi-square na yan. Okay? So, Itong, itong 19, instead na nilagay ko pa sa gilid niya na naka-open and close parenthesis, nilagay ko na siya sa baba, dito siya. So, kung mapapansin nyo to, ito, i-compute nyo using your calculator, 219 times 63 divided by 732. Lalabas ito. Okay? So, the next is, ito na. So, finormulate ko na siya para mas madali sa inyo mag-compute na hindi nyo isa-isa. Ito yung technique ko lang. Okay? So, the next is, observe minus expected. Gaya nung formula rin kanina. ba? Observe minus expected. Okay? So, ito siya. 19 minus 18.85. Ito yung lumabas. In-squared ko ngayon siya. Okay? So, paano siya i-squared? Ito yung formula niya. Kinuha ko lang siya, nilagyan ko ng parang ganun sa taas, time, uh, multi, kasi ano yan, uh, uh, multiply, ano ba tan? Multiplied by 2 ng pareho niya. Okay? Or squared ng 
pareho nito. Okay? So, yun yung squared niya. Pagka squared mo siya is divide E. Diba? Ito yung formula niya. So, ito yung ginawa ko. Yes. Yan. So, E. Ah. Ito, divide E. So, ito muna. Yung squared, divide E. So, yun yung nakaset na